today i am going to present about uh, the poem travel to bar and stack entry which was written by the famous uh, conflict poem writer uh, a a houseman who was lived in the late uh, 19th and the early 20th centuries um, this poem was about a, a, a farmer and uh, his uh, a, a farmer and his family uh, the setting for this poem is a village area which was uh, located uh, with the river, the, uh, the Severn Shore, which was the uh, longest river in UK. And if we take a look in this poem, uh, the plot of this poem is uh, about two brothers and how one of them met the end of, the, uh, end of his life on the other hand. And and how the murder the murderer who murdered the uh, other other brother uh, how he takes decision uh, to leave the village or how he takes decision uh, to control his emotions uh, in that way if we take a look in this poem um, the poet a houseman starts uh, this poem with the uh, first person point of view by uh, asking travel to the uh, related and inanimated things of the speaker and he also asks uh, travel to his fluent listener who is named Terence. Uh, the inanimated things like barn, stack and tree are uh, connected thing to, thing, things to farmers because uh, they usually use uh, these things in in their farming uh, farming area. In that way, as a uh, uh, connected things, he bids farewell to them in the first uh, line, and after that he give uh, uh, give uh, after that he ask farewell to his fluent listener called Terence, and he also addresses that he is not going to be seen there after this farewell. And he's going to leave that village. Uh, by this, uh, the readers can um, uh, assume that uh, he's going to uh, leave the village uh, for many reasons. Maybe his family or he, maybe his professional re reason. But if we take a look in the second uh, uh, stanza of this poem, he addresses that um, uh, uh, a person named Morris is uh, died in the uh, in the field, and the blood uh, uh, and uh, the bladder uh, knife of his also uh, near him. Which uh, by this the reader readers can understand that uh, the re uh, the narrator has killed his uh, has killed a person called Morris, and. Uh, when the sun burns on the half moon hill, the murder has been uh, conducted by the speaker. And uh, we all we all know that murdering is one of the uh, uh, unbearable crimes uh, for humans because a uh, life uh, a life of a person cannot be returned to earth when he died. Uh, in that way, uh, the writer thinks that this is not a good thing and. He, uh, as in the first line, uh, first stanza, he bids farewell and he uh, wants to go out from the village. And the third stanza of this poem, uh, the writer addresses that uh, his mother um, uh, thinks us long away because um, in the third stanza, uh, uh, he addresses that the person named Morris who has died in the a uh, field is his brother and uh, his mother is going to miss them because in the in in that day's morning uh, she has her two sons and uh, when the night will arrive she will she can't see any of her sons because uh, the one son called Maurice is uh, dead and the another son who is the uh, speaker is going to leave the village. Uh, this is a very a dramatic scene because um, the speaker is uh, the speaker feel, feels very guilty about his mother but the crime which has been 
which had been done by him uh, is is an unacceptable crime and so this he he uh, uh, accepts his fate and uh, decides decides to leave the village and he also feels very guilty about his life because uh, the murder is a bad thing and so that he thinks that uh, he considered that his uh, hands are uh, show uh, hands are full of uh, blood and he also bid a farewell in a dramatic way here oh man and oh man yes goodbye uh, and he also uh, um, thinks about his uh, farming atmosphere like uh, he's not going to be sweat in the rake and uh, and the sky uh, this uh, this gives the readers a sympathetic manner towards the uh, speaker because even though he murdered his brother he feels very sorry and guilty for him and he also thinks that um, the he also thinks about his surroundings and his farming atmosphere and uh, he his thought about his bloody hands and he says that my bloody hands and I. This shows uh, the readers the uh, the guilty emotion of the speaker because uh, he's uh, very uh, um, disgusted with his uh, with his self and he is very disgusted with the bloody hands because he had killed a person at that day and even in the. Uh, even in the fifth stanza of the poem, he addresses the uh, listener about uh, he has some wishes towards him. Uh, he wishes he wishes to uh, get strength to Terence and uh, a good love to keep him clean, and uh, uh, and he wish a uh, luck and come lamesty. Uh, at the raising uh, of the grain. Here, the wishes of the speaker. Uh, maybe indicates the past unbearable life of him, even though uh, he is uh, the uh, he is wishing for strength uh, to his uh, fluent listener Terence. Here, the strength uh, may be the uh, the speaker's uh, inability to face uh, his life and allow to keep him clean, because even we can assume that. Uh, the reason for the murder may be the triangular love, which has been, uh, 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 which has been uh, came into the into uh, the speaker, the Maurice, and another one, uh, so that um, the impulsive anger uh, can be made the speaker very angry, and it may be the trigger to kill Maurice and. Um, the luck, maybe he is feeling very guilty about the uh, murder, and he it is an unluck for him because uh, murder murdering is a bad uh, crime, and if a if a man murder another human, uh, he will uh, he he will be unfortunate for his whole of uh, the life. He wants to uh, uh, bear the burden, and he wants to. Uh, be guilty in his life, so uh, he bids uh, and he wishes uh, luck, luck to his uh, fluent listener Terence because uh, he must be lucky and he he's not to do this uh, type of crimes like murdering another one. So here we can it is uh, it is ironic that uh, the speaker faced in his past life, but. He is wishing that not to face any bad uh, experience in the future life of Terence, and it it gives a great uh, emotion to the readers too. And at the last stanza, uh, the speaker gives a repetitional uh, uh, attendance to the stanza uh, that long for me the rick will wait and long will wait wait the fall. And long will stand the empty plate, and dinner will be cold. And in, in also the last stanza, he addresses about his form, because uh, in the uh, as I told uh, you all in the starting, uh, in the home 
he has a mother and Maurice is also his brother and in night she will be uh, waiting for them and in the in the dining table uh, the food uh, which was made in for uh, Maurice and the speaker uh, maybe become uh, cold because uh, Maurice cannot uh, come back to the earth and the reader is going to leave the village uh, here uh, the uh, the ironic ironical attitude of the speaker uh, uh, reveals from the line the dinner will be cold because uh, if a person do not eat the dinner uh, the food will become uh, cold and uh, it is a uh, it is drama it is very dramatic because uh, the uh, the murder of Maurice has become a, a a uh, twisting point for uh, the Morris life and the speaker's life. Um, and if we take a look in the themes of the poem, the main theme is, is the impulsive anchor and uh, impulsive anchor, which means uh, in the starting, uh, he, uh, he says that he has murdered his brother Morris. And the, the reason for the murder may be the love or any other reasons. And the anger which was uh, 